No, no, no. Let me go here. No, no, no. no. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. This is hard. How do you log up that hole? Now I'm blocked. <laughs> oh, I see. God. I'm looking at a sword from here. No, 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 no. Baby, just okay. don't make it so complicated. You're making it so complicated. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh. Okay, I'm really excited to say that I'm about to share with you guys my first ever game review. Okay, this is very interesting because I'm gonna give you a backstory here before we get into that. If you guys know me and followed me from long ago, back in 2016, what actually kicked off my career in video games, uh, or at least indie, is actually Twitch. Because back then, when I first started streaming, I only streamed indie games exclusively. Flashback. This is for you guys. It's getting hotter! Oh god! Ah! This is how people die. Mm, I can't. End of flashback. Why? Because... Well, I didn't have any money back then. I was a person who just graduated university, wanted to stream video games and indie games were sometimes free, a little bit more cheap than AAA titles. And what I found in that time, well, between then and now, is that indie games have some of the most interesting game mechanics that I have ever ever seen. They love experimenting and trying out new things and I have seen so many really awesome titles and this is one of them actually which is why we're here with this review. This game is called Amnesiac Adventure. You can actually find it on Steam. It just released last month. So if you guys know me, other than being bad at video games in general, one thing that I'm worse at than anything is puzzles. So Amnesiac Adventure is a single player 2D puzzle solving game and the story is you're an adventurer and you're about to finish your adventure. Finish? I know right? Just, just bear with me. You're about to finish your adventure but then suddenly your memories are like oh no my memories are jumbled oh what's happening so basically to remember how you got there in that dungeon and why you're in that dungeon you have to go through your memories backwards in order to figure out what's going on because this is really funny because you don't even know why you're there are we there to save a princess are we there to kill a dragon you know so isn't that a question for yourself Okay, let's talk about the story. So the story in this game is very, very interesting because as I mentioned before, you have to go through the game backwards in order to solve puzzles. And it was a very, very interesting thing. So far as I could see, going through those stories or at least those cutscenes, you do meet some characters which can aid you through your journey. So Dain, one of the characters I met, is a person who you can actually give back items from because technically he is a merchant who gives you things through an IOU. So if you want to go backwards, you have to give him the items instead of him giving you, if that makes sense to you. What I like about this game mostly is that it doesn't have a lot of talking. It's a lot more puzzle solving, which I think can really, really help you if you are in that need or hunger for a challenge in terms of a puzzle. And I gotta say, I spent about five hours in the game so far. I only got to level two, five. Don't, don't judge me. But anyways, I gotta say that I am very, very intrigued because of the mechanics game. I'm not really intrigued because of the story. That's not the reason why I was intrigued in the game. Is because of the backwards puzzle mechanic that makes me want to know what exactly is going here in that area or in that game and why. Okay, so now let's talk about gameplay. Because of the mechanics and because of how interesting the mechanics are, because it's more of like an open ending per se whenever you end a level or a puzzle, because when you get to the end and end the level, you don't know if you've completed every single objective in the room until you're done with it and you can't come back. So like it or not, you have to really really make sure that all your ends are tied before moving on. So this is very interesting because when you think about solving puzzle forwards, it's a little bit more direct I have to say. But now when you do it backwards, it's very very interesting because everything has been solved and you have no clue which route you took which button opens which door yeah you actually have to go around and assign which door opens for which button as well the choices the devs give you is very interesting the fact that you're able to just completely breeze through it and not solve puzzles and have different endings is mind-blowing to me we, we didn't finish three things see 
the fact that there's more than two endings in the game, not just like a good ending and a bad ending, there's multiple endings depending on how many puzzles you solve and how well you solve them as well, is pretty baffling for me because you can tell there's a lot of love and care put in this, into this game as well. But the whole idea of this game is unsolving puzzles, undestroying things, unloading chests, unbuying things, ungetting items. Yeah, you get the gist. I really like the concept. It's, it's unique, confusing, but it's definitely unique for sure. Okay, now let's talk about the graphics a little bit. So when it comes to graphics, this game has one of the most simple yet charming graphics I've ever seen. And one thing that's also really great about this is the fact that the game isn't too heavy. So any PC or device can pretty much run it. Even if you have a low spec PC or laptop, I'm sure the game will be able to run no problem at all. And the thing is, I would really like to see this game move over to maybe Nintendo Switch or even uh, mobile soon. Sometimes maybe console, why not, right? Because it's just so friendly. I think mobile will be the best for Nintendo Switch because it's definitely something a game I can see myself playing on the go. Now, let's talk about the soundtrack. So this soundtrack is very, very interesting. So the soundtrack of this game, I really, really like. You come in and the first thing you hear is the most adorable soundtrack ever. It's so sweet, it's calming, relaxing, it's cozy. But once you get into the game, the soundtrack gets very, very eerie. And I was very confused because, you know, it's very contrasting to the soundtrack in the main menu. Once you solve a puzzle, you'll be hearing a whole different soundtrack, which is very, very cozy, very, very adventure-y, and, and the soundtrack makes sense. And you're just like, wait, why didn't I hear this in the beginning? Because, okay, this is very interesting as well, and I just, I just really love the small touches that the devs put into this game. The fact that they put this idea to have the song playing backwards because you're solving the puzzle backwards is just really really dang cool overall i think this game is just really really good if you guys are huge puzzle buffs you guys would absolutely love this game because it's definitely a whole nother level or a whole nother layer when it comes to puzzle solving think about it like sudoku but with maybe extra boxes put in basically if you love 4d chess or 4d tetris this is definitely the game that you are going to be looking for. And I can assure you that you'll be having so much fun with this game because there's just so many different levels to do. Over 25 levels, more coming. And on top of that, because of how the puzzles are made, where there are so many different endings, so many ways to solve the puzzle, I definitely think there's a replayability value as well in this because you can definitely play it over and over again and get different results. However though, there's only one thing I'm very frustrated about the game is that there are level hints and I wish that there would be more hints as you go through the game because one hint is definitely not enough for me. Or maybe you can choose to have a difficulty slider and with more sliders you can have more hints. I don't know. Either way though, that's all I can say about Amnesiac Adventure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do get this game on Steam. It's already up for sale right now. And bring your friends to play along on this adventure because definitely it's pretty trippy.